Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel. After watching this exclusive video, you will finally know why you are special and being hated for no reason. Many things are happening in today's world. And whenever I wonder and ponder over it, the first thing that normally strikes my mind is hate. All you chosen people of course will relate with what I am about to talk about in this video. Listen. People will hate you and despise you, criticize you, demean you, and all for no good reason. And if there is a reason, they want to make sure you feel like you are absolutely beneath them. You know what? Most times they see in you the things that are not in them. I mean your powerful potentials. This is deeper than what I express in this video. That is why I use the term chosen one. And as a chosen one, you can treat people nice, but they still don't like you. When you find people like this, you have to ignore them. They just don't like you. When a moment arrived and some unpleasantness happens to them, don't turn your back. Remember you are a loving, kind, caring individual and you are not going to allow those narcissistic people come disrupt your life, who you know that hate you for no good reason. Truly, and deep within you, you know you have true love, kindness, knowledge and all sorts of great values to offer to this world. Continually be kind despite of those hateful people, and keep it moving. Before I continue with this exclusive message, make sure to comment below that you will definitely cut off and let go of hateful, narcissistic and energy suckers out of your life. Now, what I am not so happy about is that most people we call our friends and families hate the chosen ones, because, they lack something that you have. It is just a common human behavior. People who are jealous of who you truly are, are not only hating you, but also hating your success and achievements. They hold an implicit bias against you because of some qualities you possess, and they themselves do not have. For example, your promotion at work, your taste in clothes, your hobbies, outfit, achievements. Or maybe, because of your unique way of thinking. More likely is that they dislike you for some reason, it could be that you without knowing did something to rub them the wrong way, you provoke some kind of jealousy or envy in them, or you are the object of their dislike, since the actual person is not available. Whatever it is, it is not your problem, but theirs. Either they are jealous of your true potentials, feel threatened by you, or you remind them of someone or something that they hate. Don't worry about it. It is their problem, not yours. If it bothers you just ask them, calmly and politely what it is that you did. Usually you find that it was a big misunderstanding. It still shouldn't bother you that much. If you concern yourself over everything everyone thinks, you would never utter another word, and even that would piss someone off eventually. So, just ignore them and focus on your life and your progress, because sometimes it happens to be a distraction for you. As a chosen one, people may hate you also because you are too good. Don't be too good. We are taught to be good all the time. Yes of course. But that is not the only way to respond to life. And I am damn sure that your self-esteem must be getting affected negatively by experiencing such things. Hate is such a strong word, thrown around way too easy. Now let me ask you a question, why do you give them an opportunity to behave bad with you? For me if someone takes the first negative step, I will straight away show them the exit route, however important their presence may be. You need to be more strong and firm for your self-respect. Learn to be alone without embarrassment, at least better than being with thousands of people who don't like you. Sometimes in life, people have no valid reason for disliking someone, I have encountered it myself, at work, at social gatherings. I can tell as soon as I enter a room whether or not a person dislikes me or not. And the thing is, I have done nothing wrong to warrant the dislike. I can admit it is troubling, and not right, but we cannot control others, only ourselves. So, what I do is to meditate, and repeat my mindfulness affirmation, so that I can get such kind of people out of my mind. Then. I ask God to grant me serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, and the courage to change the things that I can. And the wisdom to know the difference. My advice for you is to practice mindfulness affirmation and meditation, in case you find it had to forget of heartbreaks and toxic people. Unfortunately, toxicity is a part of life. People will hate you no matter what you do. So don't try and search for the morality in everything. Moreover, people probably hate you because they're envious or innately negative. 
The least you can do is ignore the negative people in your life, knowing that you did nothing wrong. And also, I think we have all been there. Most times, it was never, and ever about you, but only about them. They live deeply in the many, weak states of fear. Hate is within fear. If you do something that they fear to do, or maybe things they can't ever imagine that will be possible to achieve, probably, they will hate you. Not really you, actually but the part of themselves that knows they could, yet listens to the egoistic part. Badly educated, that says they can't. All the while, it was never about you. It is just their own internal battle. We are all falsely taught that we are quite impotent. That is not true, but many choose to believe that it is. Those who believe differently are bad people. Right? But of course no. But you may think it's for no reason, but it could just be the way you carry yourself. I'm blunt and honest, and I tell it how it is because I can't bother to waste my time sugarcoating things. Talk with confidence, walk with confidence, and do things with confidence. And whether they hate you because of your confidence, is not your own business. They truly have to deal with themselves. Many insecure people hate when others are confident. They want you to be miserable and look down at yourself. I just started a new job, and immediately I could tell one of my co-workers already hated me, and I did nothing. She looks at me with attitude when I walk by. I don't give her the time of day which probably pisses her off too. Many people don't like me. But I don't care. It just feeds my ego and makes me even more confident in myself. Don't worry about them. They don't like you because they don't like themselves. Let them be miserable and unhappy. You stay strong and do your thing with confidence. This is your world. Leave it the way you want to. Let the haters be your motivators. Dominate life. I guess I can explain one category of situations. It's not that you have done something to them. It's your very existence that offends them. Your living like you do is a living proof of how spectacular their life philosophies fail. And out of frustration and shame, they blame you for letting them know that they are wrong. Well, if you encounter with one situation like this, just be better and be strong, and let them be. Because you can't wake someone up when he or she is pretending to be asleep. You are chosen to be woke at this moment in life. I call you the chosen one and maybe you still don't understand how deep it is. However, I'm sorry that you feel hated. At least you know that if you have given them no explicit reason to dislike you, then the reason for their hatred is almost definitely something you could and should not change. So, you are in the right part. Don't be sad. If someone hates you, it means they can't see anything good in you. Always think positive and love yourself more. If you find value in this content, make sure to like, share and subscribe. See you in my next video.